Okay, I'm back. And I'm going to show you everything that I put in my chitlins. We put vinegar. Black pepper. Crush red pepper. Salt. I put two cubes of chicken broth. Bouillon cubes. Uh, and watch how you use this here. You may not need no salt, so taste it afterwards because bouillon cubes are very salty. And I have uh, two jalapenos right here. These peppers. I have these. I'm going to cut these up right here. I have uh, bell pepper. I have onion. I have parsley. That's fresh parsley. I have garlic. This is two cloves of garlic. And I have cilantro. And you have to watch this cilantro because cilantro can overpower everything. And I have bay leaves. Fresh bay leaves off of my tree. I have oregano. And I have whole cloves. Okay. Now, this is how much of chitlins I had left after two buckets. This is all you're going to get. So, if you're cooking like for 12 people or something like that, get you six buckets of this. If you, if you have a lot of people who are coming over. Okay. I took the chitlins. I put it in this pot of water. Alright. I have it on high. Keep an eye on this here because it's going to boil up. Let it cook. We're going to do four hours of cooking. Two hours. Uh, within two hours, I am going to take. And that's when I'm going to add all of my ingredients. And I'll be back and we can see what it looks okay. like. Okay. So, it's been boiling for about an hour now. So, I'm going to show you just what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. It's been boiling a whole hour. And so what I'm going to add in now, I'm going to add some vinegar. Vinegar is good for the high blood pressure too. And plus it gives it a little flavor. So I think I'm going to use me about, let's say about, now that, that, that should be about, uh, let me see here, that should be about a half of, uh, probably about a fourth of, fourth of a cup or a half a cup of vinegar. Probably about a, depending on how much you're cooking and things. To me, that looks like a, a half a cup of vinegar I put in there. And uh, I'm going to let that go ahead on cook for another 30 minutes. And then I'm going to come on back and I'm going to add my seasoning to it. Okay? Okay, everyone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to add my ingredients. I have two bouillon cubes. This is for flavor. And if you want to use apple cider vinegar, Go ahead, and if you want to use apple cider vinegar, use apple cider vinegar. Or use the white distilled vinegar like I used. This right here is a whole bell pepper. I diced it in the dicer. This is a half of an onion because I'm going by what, I cook, what I'm cooking. And since there's only two buckets, that's what I did. This is one pepper. Because I don't want it too hot because my mother said she wants some. This is two bay leaves. I took and broke it up like this here. It comes out of my yard. This is parsley. Fresh parsley. I put it in the dicer. Because I like parsley. And I like the flavor of it. No, that was cilantro. This is parsley. 
and I'm putting parsley in there because I want I like flavor in my food I'm just that way this right here is two garlic cloves and I put this in the dicer and this is going in there and I have some oregano I don't put a lot of oregano but you're gonna know it's in there this is about a tablespoon of oregano and this right here is cloves whole cloves so I get me some of these and I throw these in there because I like the flavor and the smell of cloves so this is about a tablespoon of cloves and this is your crushed red pepper we're gonna put us some of this in there this is I probably put about look about a tablespoon of this in there because remember it's only two buckets and it isn't a lot and I'm gonna put me a little black pepper in there I'm gonna put about put me about a tablespoon of black pepper so if I need any more seasonings I'll come back to it and I'll get it and I'll add it to it as I go while I'm tasting it and then I know just what I need so now I'm gonna just let this here go ahead on finish cooking and I get back which it should be about should be ready in about three let's say should take us about three and a half hours almost about three hours almost about four hours is what it usually takes so I still have time on this here to go but I get back with you when it's cooked and everything and don't forget when you clean in this here you can either put your potato in the sink and while the water is hot you can put you a, a, a white potato a whole white potato with the hug still on it you can put it in the sink with the chitlin it help and also too you can put you some vinegar in there and let it soak in there too and also that helps takes out the smell if you want to do it that way mine's just not smelling you know it's just not smelling because after this I didn't add all this seasoning and everything to it and it's doing its job you know if you clean them very well you're not gonna have no funky to smell you know what I mean it's gonna smell good and it's not gonna smell bad at all so if you want to do it that way put your potatoes put your three white potatoes in the sink with the hot water because what you're doing you're loosening up the skin so you can pull the skin away off of the chitlins and that's it and I'll Hi. be back I'm back and we're finished look look at it how it looks Oh my God, it looks so good. And let me get some out of here. Look at that garlic all on there. It's a piece of garlic. And watch how it cuts up. That's how you know it's good and it's ready. Mm -hmm. I don't cut up my chitlins. Cause I just leave them just like that. Let me taste this. Mm-hmm. Mm the flavor. Everything is in there. What I did, I went back, I put me two more bouillon cubes in there. And I put me some um uh, uh the season right here. I like this season. My brother cooks with it a lot. You will see him cooking with this here whenever we do things together. This is a little salty. So I added a different type of flavor in there to it. And my God, it is so good. Now everybody didn't ask for this here. My mother, my sister, my brother, him and his wife. Now you know that ain't that much of chitlin. It's not. But I'm going to make sure everybody get to taste some. 
And like I tell you, take this, you clean it good. Potatoes, you can put your three potatoes in there if you want to, if you're thinking about the smell and all like this here. Put them in there with the with the peels and everything still on there and just stick them in the hot water. The hot water is going to loosen up the chitlins so you can pull it off really good. So make sure the water is really hot. And let it sit in there for about an hour to make it get really kind of loose. And uh, this is good for your... Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, with some black eyed bees, candy yam, potato salad, and uh, New Year's, have you some greens with it when your black eyed peas, and get, make sure you get some more candy yams. And hey, have a good one. Bon appetit.